good afternoon to all today i am presenting a talk on ichthyodiversity of muvattupuzha river kottayam district kerala as we all know biodiversity is the foundation of life on earth and one of the pillars of sustainable developments and it is so important as it reflects the environmental health of a species a region or a habitat and this biodiversity is being depleted by the loss of habitat over exploitation of resources climatic changes pollution invasion of exotic species diseases shifting cultivation poaching of wildlife etc that the conservation of biodiversity is a common concern of mankind and thus diversity studies have been given more priority in the present scenario then coming to ichthyodiversity it means the diversity of fishes as per fish base 2018 there are around 33900 species of fishes in the world that fish and fisheries as a flourishing sector in our economy it means uh, because it's a means of livelihood for a large population helps in increasing of food supply helps in generation of job opportunity raises nutritional level and helps in earning foreign exchange then there are threats to the bio, uh, threats facing to fish diversity are habitat alteration habitat loss invasion of exotic species over exploitation climatic change sustainable fishing practices pollution and sand mining the ichthyophonal researches in kerala started in 18th century with the work of blog from malabar though many studies were done on the fish diversity in the rivers of kerala very little literature is available on the ichthyophona of lower reaches of muvattupuzha river which flows through kottayam district so the present study is focused on the lower reaches of muvattupuzha river then the present objectives of the study to document the fish diversity to observe the threatened category of fishes to study the non native fish invasion to identify the rare species which needs conservation to find out new records and extension range of fishes and to list the brackish water forms migrating to the freshwater regions of the river then this is the muvattupuzha river map and this uh, muvattupuzha river at vettikattamuk it divides into two tributaries <coughs> muvattupuzha river it divides into two tributaries ithipuzha and morinyapuzha uh, and the both of them flows to uh, empties into arabic uh, arabian sea These are the. There are uh, six sampling select uh, stations were selected. Then coming to materials and methods, these are collected by the, and the monthly collections were taken for a period of two years. And uh, the gears used were cast net, gill net, uh, drag net, scoop net, and hook and line. And uh, these are fixed in ten uh, percent formalin. then identification by standard books of day nelson talwar and jingran and jayaram then the morphometric studies were done by the uh, using jayaram then the nomenclature of the fish were done by nomenclature was done by the catalog of fishes and fish base org then coming to the results and discussion there are 18 species coming under 15 orders 44 families and 70 genera were collected and this collected fishes were categorized according to ic iuc iucn categorized category that uh, then based on that there are three species of endangered species, uh, fishes and uh, vulnerable six species near threatened four species least concerned 46 species not evaluated 23 species and data deficient five species then endangered species uh, species I go to our Punjabi anodon hypothalamus, Chirocryptus vinadensis, and Pseudotropius michelli. 
then the vulnerable are horabragus brachysoma and this one and uh, hyporhampus thanatopterus cirrus cirrosus pseudo pseudospronemus dai carina tetradon travancoricus chenna diplograma and near threatened species are four which uh, in my collection then angula bengalensis clarius dusmeri velago atu and oreochromus mozambicus then not then there are eight species of there were eight species of non native fishes that uh, coming under this group are clarius garipenus pieractus brachypomus oreochromus mozambicus ospronemus gorami uh, then panjas yanodon hypothalamus labio rohida gibelion catla and cirrus cirrosus then the rare species goat in collect in my collections are were osteobrama bakeri chanos chanos pristolepis rubirpinus angula bengalensis macronathus gunderi vellago atu clarius dusmeri pseudo pseudospronemus dai Anabasco bogeus, Butus butus, Iliotris fisca, Latus calcarifer, Chenna diplograma, Stenogobius gymnopomus, Sinarcopterus striga, and Mustia symbolus armatus. Then categorization based on the habitat. There are fresh uh, 22 species of freshwater fishes and uh, 28 coming under freshwater and brackish water and 25 freshwater, brackish water and marine forms and 10 coming under brackish water and marine and 2 purely marine forms. Then highlights of the study are the first record of Sinarcoptera striga. It is commonly called a hoogly half beak to the uh, rivers of Kerala. This is male and this is female. Then the first report of Tetradon leopardus day in freshwater systems of Kerala. Then uh, first locality reports are there are 10 species. These are Clarius garipinus, Pieractus brachypomus, uh, Tyrocrutus vianadensis, Ospronemus gorami, Cyrinus cirrhosis, Pseudotropius michelli, Pristelepris rubriprinus, Dichotomic turfluviatilis, Tinogobius gymnopomus, Panjasianodon, Hypophthalmus, etc. Then the conclusion we can say that there are 87 species of fishes belonging to 15 orders, 44 families and 70 genera were documented from Mouachipura river and this uh, study shows that the river uh, stood, uh, shows that it is a rich fish diversity and the occurrence of non-native species insist proper quarantine standards for the introduction of exotic species. Then Sand mining is one of the major problem facing this Mimatubura river and which could be banned, which should be banned by implementing strict laws. Then the occurrence of many potential and cultivable species can be utilized sustainably for improving aquarium and aquaculture trade and thus we can earn more income and generate employment. Thank you. And this is all about. Thank you.